Hi there, Mary here. I have a reading for you. I wanted to read on Nancy Pelosi because I've had several requests and so I'm going to read on her. I don't want to read on much else. I think that right now it's just um, patience that is needed and maybe step away from the news cycles. Not much really. I mean, there's stuff happening, but um, it's my feeling that something very big is, is not going to happen until around the 20th, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to read on Nancy Pelosi. Spirit, what can you tell me about Nancy Pelosi? What can you tell us about Nancy Pelosi? Please show me. What can you tell us? Okay, so I'm going to do a... Um, I don't usually do the spreads um, in the videos, but for this I'm going to do a, a Celtic cross, I think. And this is her. This is her energy. She is the High Priestess. And you can see the owl. Um, to me that means wisdom. She's um, very wise, a lot of life experience, a lot of experience in general. Um, and she uses her intuition to her advantage. Okay, and the next card I'm going to draw is Nancy Pelosi's challenge card. What is her challenge, Vera? What is her challenge? Thank you so much for this Nancy's challenge. We have the Knight of Wands. Wands energy is fire energy, and knights are people coming in to save the day. I think that her challenge is that she is that wand energy. She wants to come in and save the day. She wants to save the day for the American people. She wants to jump in and do it. That's a challenge for her because she has to stand firm in um, saying no to the wall because she knows as a mother and a grandmother that if you let children get away just once, um, you're, setting, you're setting up um, um, you're setting up the scenario of a disaster. You know, you give them something once and then it's just going to be a constant battle. So I feel like her, her real challenge is to not jump in and save the day, but to sit tight. That's very hard for her because it's painful for her. I can feel the pain that she is feeling, knowing that families are doing without um, and what the cost that this is, not just to the American people, but also financially. And um, it's very high and it's really, really bothering her. So that's her challenge. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so in her past, and this is recent past, so within the last three months, I'm gonna say that um, we have the Page of Swords. Now this is usually, this could be the Spy card, but I feel like it's information about the truth or clarity that she received approximately three months ago. Um, remember, time is a little iffy in these readings, but I would say that Nancy Pelosi has new information in regards to Donald Trump with this card. She knows the truth, anyway, of what's going on. Um, yeah. Yep, yeah, that's what I got. Okay, so let's look at her immediate future. So it's about three months out. What can you show us for her immediate future? And everybody reads these uh, Celtic crosses differently, um, but we have for the immediate future is the Knight of Swords. I believe that Nancy Pelosi is waiting for the Mueller report to come out. She knows what's in it. She, she knows the truth of what's going on. And I think that that's helping her 
to sit tight and not do anything. She knows that um, whatever is coming out is so bad that it's, um, it's gonna help her cause and it's going to hurt Donald Trump and his administration. Okay, what else can you tell us? The next card I'm drawing is what she would like consciously, or what is above her? What can you tell us about Nancy? Pelosi, mm, the lovers, the lovers card. So um, what this tells me is, now, you guys might not like this, but immediately what I saw was um, people crossing the aisle, people coming together as partners. I feel like um, Nancy Pelosi would like to come together with the Republican Party um, and come together in unison to work together for the good of the country. And I feel like she's doing that already. There's, there are some Republicans who have um, kind of sided with Nancy or, um, you know, uh, would like the, um, the government shut down to, the government to go back to work, basically. Um, so that's what I think the lover's car, I feel like she wants to partner up with the other party. Bipartisanship kind of thing. And that's a conscious thing that she is looking at doing. Okay, what else can you tell us, Spirit, about Nancy Pelosi? What does she want unconsciously, subconsciously under? Okay, so she's battle weary. She's been through it. This is the Nine of Swords. She's got the Eight Swords. She's been Speaker of the House before. She has been battling and battling and battling. I think she's getting older. She's more towards the end of her career. And she would like this, I, I, I believe, I truly believe that Nancy Pelosi will go down in history for what she will do for this country um, in the next year two. <laughs> okay. And now, but how does she see herself? How does Nancy Pelosi see herself, Spirit? Please show me. Thank you so much. Well, she sees herself as the Knight of Pentacles. Knights usually come in to save the day or their opportunities. Um, the Pentacle energy is the slower of the um, energies of the Knights. So I feel like she's, she's fiscally responsible. She wants what's um, for the good of the country. She wants to bring opportunities to people to be financially stable for all Americans. And um, that's how she sees herself. Um, she sees herself as the, the voice of um, low-income families, middle-income families, people who don't have a voice. Um, I feel like she's really trying to rep represent um, families, women, children, children. Yeah, okay. And now I'll choose a card for her environment. What's her environment like? Thank you so much. What's her environment like? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning for her. This is another beginning for her, a Speaker of the House. It's a new beginning to try to bring uh, fiscal responsibility to the government, to people. Um, yeah, it's a new beginning. I think as Speaker of the House, that's how I see that. And that's her environment. I feel like she's trying to, to be financially fiscal. Um, I think the deficit has gone way up under Donald Trump. Uh, it's just, I, I can't even talk about it. I really can't. Okay, um, hopes and dreams for Nancy Pelosi. What are her hopes and dreams? What are her hopes and her dreams? Hopes and fears, hopes and dreams, hopes and fears, hopes and dreams. Thank you so much. Uh, the Six of Wands. So her hope and dream is to get through this and celebrate. Um, we're in it right now. We're in this battle. 
but she's hoping that we can we will all be victorious as Americans okay and the last card is for Nancy's future what can you show us spirit for Nancy's future her future please show me Her future going forward. Please show me. Thank you so much. The moon card. Interesting. The moon card is usually about something hidden or something coming to light in the moonlight. Something hidden. Hmm. And that's Nancy Pelosi's future. I'm going to say with that card that it is hidden. Maybe she doesn't, either she doesn't really know what her future is or we're not supposed to know. It's something hidden. Um, I can pull a, a, um, another card to try to, to see if there's anything more on that, on the moon card, but I feel like we're not supposed to know her future. About the moon card. What can you tell us about Nancy's future in that moon card? What is the secret? Well, she got the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. Um, but there's, that's pretty general. <laughs> um, I feel like with this moon card, um, we're not supposed to know her future. She's got, maybe she's keeping it close to the vest. She may be thinking of retiring after this stint as Speaker of the House. Maybe she's not quite sure. But we do know that Nancy's um, dreams will come true. It's the um, Wish Fulfillment card. Um, so that's great. So I hope that this uh, reading made sense to you about Nancy Pelosi. Um, I'm going to keep it non-political. I, I, I know I said a few things that were political, but I just wanted to read on the woman, Nancy Pelosi. So I'm going to leave that there, and I will pull some cards. We have 13 minutes. I'm going to pull a few energy cards for you for this Sunday. Remember that the energies are very strong. If you are feeling triggered, if you are feeling anxious if you're losing your temper that's just you're you're going if you've been working on yourself and you've been kind of stepping back and you've been um, feeling like you're more in a fifth dimensional consciousness and you're awake and everything and then suddenly you, you you're yelling at your your friend or your husband or your kid um, just remember it's okay don't beat yourself up it's it's the energies that are coming into the planet they are loving energies to help us. They're coming through um, directly through the sun. Um, while these energies of love are coming in to help us, um, we're getting downloaded with information. We're also integrating the information that we were downloaded with in this past year. You probably didn't even realize it was happening. Um, it happens a lot when we are sleeping at night. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been sleeping through the night which is highly irregular for me I'm usually up every morning at 3 or 3 30 in the morning um, but lately I'm just sleeping right through the night we are getting downloads of information and energy that is helping to um, deal with karma um, deal with uh, we're purging things, um, healing things. Um, any, anyway, so y you might be feeling those energies, and everyone feels them differently. So um, I think it used to be we would have a wave come in, and then it would go out, and we would get a rest, and now it's just wave after wave after wave. So if you're sensitive to energy, you're probably feeling it. Um, just go easy on yourself. Get out in nature. Okay. This is Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And what do we need to know for today, Spirit? Or tonight, actually. It's pretty late. Thank you. Thank you. 
Maybe this could go into tomorrow. <laughs> oh, orphaned. Um, this is the orphaned card. It's number five. It's all about change and transition. You may be feeling, well, you may be feeling like you don't fit in with the people that you normally hang with. You may feel like um, you are vibrating at a different energy level and you're not a vibrational match for each other. So um, don't feel bad. It's okay. We're all going through it. Um, sometimes we grow differently. Um, we're all at different levels. We're all on different paths. So someone that you used to be best friends with, maybe that's not working out anymore. You've grown or gone different ways. Um, maybe you feel like you just don't fit into your family. Maybe your family has a certain belief pattern and you've kind of moved away from that. Um, no, it's okay. You will find your tribe. Um, and know that we made these decisions on a soul level before we even came here. So all of this is supposed to happen and it's happening perfectly just the way it's happening. <laughs> okay, no judgment. This is Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. So what can you tell us today, Spirit? What can you tell us? What do we need to know? This is Archangel Jophiel, and it says, Honor your beauty. Not just your physical beauty, although you are quite stunning. Um, this is about inner beauty, your inner beauty. Know that you are a divine being and you are part of the divine and we are all one, right? So we are all a fragment of source energy and we are all divine beings and you are beautiful inside and out. And so if you feel like you're having trouble loving yourself or accepting yourself for who you are, there's some, um, you can actually stare right in the mirror every morning and just say, I love you. You know, look right into your eyes and be like, I love you, you're amazing. Um, do it every day for a week and tell me how you feel. Better yet, do it every day for a month or longer. Um, that's a great way to do it. You can also put post-it notes up, you know, little affirmations um, to help you love and accept yourself, positive affirmations, things like that. Um, it works pretty good, works pretty well. This is Doreen Virtue's uh, Daily Guidance from the Angels. And what can you tell us today, Spirit? What does everyone need to know today? Ooh, Cupid. This is all about loving yourself. That's funny. It could be that someone is coming into your life romantically. It could be that you are rejuvenating a relationship. Or it could just be about loving yourself. And I feel like, let me read this card. Yeah. Um, so this is about the angels sending great waves of love into your heart. Love and accept yourself and know that you are worthy to be loved and to love. Okay. Uh, we're getting low on time. I want to do one more card though. Mm -mm -mm. This is Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. One more card for us, Spirit. What can I show them? Please show us what we need to know today. And this is Master Buddha, Increased Awareness. It says, Deep con Connection and Trust Your Inner Voice. Trust your inner voice, your inner knowing. That's your intuition. And with these energies that are coming in on the planet, your intuition is going to be much stronger. The veil is thinning. And pay attention. Be aware of signs and things around you. Um, you know what, I want to tell you a story. Um, I'm working on my retreats. The February one is 
completed. It's ready to go. In fact, I just got these new really cute journals for everybody. It's a dragonfly. Um, but anyway, um, the April, I had to postpone the April retreat until May. And um, for anyone that I've inconvenienced, I'm truly, truly sorry. I tried to get emails out to everybody that was interested, and I may have missed a couple people. I apologize. Anyhow, I'm moving it to May because this island gets crazy busy in April and a lot of spring breakers. And um, I was given uh, guidance to move it to a larger venue. So it will be at a big mansion mansion I mean one of the huge houses on the island here in Calabria with a big pool and a, and a beautiful view and more rooms and I can open it up to a lot more people so it will be most likely the week of it'll be May 9th through the 14th but I don't have the paper signed yet for the property but I wanted to share with you that I saw the the name of the property on three separate occasions in the last two days and I had been asking my angels and my guides is this the right place I'm not really sure and then I just went to visit a friend who's visiting and I went to where she's staying and it's not the name of the place she's staying but the name of it um, was on a wooden plaque on her door and that was the third message I got and I was like all right I guess I guess we're doing it there it's a little pricey so <laughs> Um, hopefully it'll work out but anyway I just wanted to share that with you be aware of things around you be aware because they're constantly giving us signs oh my gosh they work so hard and half the time we don't even notice so um, when you do notice thank them they absolutely love 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 gratitude so always thank your angels and your guides um, if you see repeating numbers if you see synchronicities any message, just be like, thank you so much. They love it. All right. Um, I guess that's it for tonight. Um, I'm sorry this is so late, but I hope that you enjoyed. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. Thumbs up, everybody. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Take care.